What's up guys, welcome to Munchkins Gaming, where we take your gaming to the next level. This is Munchkins logging in to bring you your Hero of the Week. This week's Hero of the Week is none other than the Dragon Swords Master, Kirinite. Kirinite is a all-around front hero with high amount of both defense and HP with subpar DPS. Kirinite has a rating of S for survivability, S for DPS, and B plus for support. His main skill, Phantom Sword, Kirin, will fire a row of Phantom Swords while dealing 40% of Kirinite's attack damage to all enemies in front and reducing their defense by 10% for about 4 seconds. After this, he will disappear and launch a second attack, dealing a total of 176% basic damage. It's important to note that Divine Kirin Edge will not apply until you get the faded version of Kirinite. Kirin Knight's basic attack damages 2 units for about 90% of his attack damage and has about 30% chance to restore 2% of his max HP. His talents include Shock. For each 7th attack, Kirin Knight will be able to slow down enemies for 4 seconds in a 650 range. This will also deal 2 times damage to normal units and ignores their damage reduction abilities and 65% of their defense. Carry Knight will also recover 3% of his max HP when this is triggered. Exposed Armor 2 ignores 14% of target's defense. Rage 4 and Attack Speed 7 are all self-explanatory. Now let's take, take a look at the pros and cons. As always, we start with the pros. Number 1, Kirin Knight has a very good defense and HP which allows him to survive and take a hit. Number 2, his Awakening has a very good supportive ability such as reducing the defense for 4 seconds for about 10% of their defense, which is very very good. And finally 3, his basic attack and his talent Shock allows Kirin Knight to recover some health which uh, relieves some sort of um, burden from your healers or if you plan to run without the healer. Now for the cons. Number one, Carry Knight unfortunately has a low base attack, probably more in line with a tank. And number two, Carry Knight may ha have very good defense in HP, probably more or higher than a tank once you get the Fate Armors maxed out. However, Kirinite doesn't have any defensive abilities to help him be a good tank. With that in mind, I will give you my final thoughts on Kirinite. Kirinite does deserve the name all-around hero because he doesn't necessarily excel on any department. He does have good HP and defense, but he does have luck luster power. And he does have decent supportive abilities as well. He will be decent on both lower end of PvP and PvE, but you would probably replace him with someone else until you get his faded version, especially on high level content, high level matches. He can still be a bit viable on high level matches though, due to his ability to reduce defense, thanks to his awakening, but you would probably find another hero with better survivability or better DPS than Kira Knight. I do recommend getting Kirin Knight though, at least if you plan to get his faded version straight away. He, he is a lot more viable. And that's it for this Heroes of the Week. Remember to click like, subscribe, and share this video if you find it helpful at all. And I'll leave you guys with the rest of the layer video. And before I go, I would just like to let you guys know that uh, I still have Normal Noir, Dire Zion, and now Red Mask as well ready for it to be featured in the hero of the week if you want any of those three to be featured next week please leave a comment below and let me know and i will feature them next week i know i have been getting a few comments wanting other heroes than, than the ones that i have been mentioning in my videos unfortunately those if i have not mentioned those heroes then i don't have them ready quite yet but I am trying my best I am trying not to spend too much money as well in the game so you guys get a feel of how much it takes I guess to get all these heroes to 
level 70 and um, getting all the shards in, in as much as possible in a normal way I guess you could say um, I do plan to still get to VIP 4 at least but other than that I don't think I will be spending any more money on the game uh, it just depends how it goes uh, anyway guys that's it for me happy gaming